So it's a lucky time to be a spine surgeon in 2024 because disc replacement has essentially changed a spine surgeon's practice. Uh, back in the day, the only thing that we could do for somebody who had a bad cervical disc was to take the disc out and to fuse that segment. And now we have a lot of literature that is very clear. If you have a fusion in your neck, you have an extremely high chance uh, to have to go back to surgery because of a problem above or below that fusion. In fact, a fused spine is not a normal spine. Now, if there is severe deformity, then it's understandable that a fusion is the only way to fix the problem. But for most of us, a typical neck pain, shoulder blade pain, or pain going down the arm that is not amenable to an injection is amenable to a disc replacement. The motion preserving technology such as disc replacement minimizes the risk that other levels will deteriorate. And according to the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, it also allows younger patients to return to normal functionality better, patient satisfaction is higher, and most importantly, there's a lower rate of problems above or below the pathological segment. If your doctor is telling you that you're not a candidate for disc replacement, please get a second opinion because most of the time surgeons who don't do disc replacements have a very negative outlook. The research, however, begs to differ. The research is very optimistic, very positive with disc replacement and would behoove you before having a fusion surgery to consider that uh, a motion preserving technique may be better. I hope this helps.